And we're working for you to find out how emergency crews here at home prepare for fires at facilities that deal with hazardous substances. Jordan Burgess continues our team coverage with what he's found out tonight. Jordan. In Montgomery County alone, I've learned there are more than 100 facilities that deal with hazardous substances, and that doesn't include one of the biggest dangers, the interstate, where trucks could be carrying any number of potentially explosive materials. So I took a closer look at how crews prepare for the dangers, both known and unknown. Jim Gruenberg's life is one disaster after another, but that's just how he likes it. We want to expose them to their worst day, before it's actually their worst today. You can find a field full of worst days here at Calamityville and Fairborn. The piles of wreckage and damage are designed to prepare medics for disasters like the fertilizer plant explosion in Texas. So you're faced with having to perform uh, life saving interventions on, on those people that need it right away, uh, but you don't have the resources you need. The scenes are often ones of chaos as medics try to save lives while hazmat workers attempt to douse the flames. We get called when something doesn't go right. We talked with Gary Reddick from the Dayton Regional Hazmat Team about how it prepares for fires at any of the county's more than 100 facilities dealing with hazardous substances. He tells us each one has to register every year with local and state officials. The hazmat team then comes up with plans on how to deal with any situations that develop there. And we'll train on their facility for that particular chemical and how we would respond. But even with all the training done by hazmat officials and medics, every disaster is different. Now you can plan and and train and do all these things, but you just never know what you're going into. When and those with the National Center for Medical Readiness that run Calamityville tell me they'll be watching the news out of Texas closely to see if there's anything they can learn from the explosion to make things safer here. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News, working for you.